A kibi dango millet dumpling, is a Japanese dumpling made from the meal or flour of the kibi millet grain. The treat was used by folktale hero Momotaro the peach boy to recruit his three beastly retainers, in the commonly known version of the tale. In modern times, this millet dumpling has been confounded with the identically sounding confection Kibi Dango named after Kibi Province now Okayama Prefecture, even though the latter hardly uses any millet at all. The confectioners continue to market their product by association with the hero Momotaro, and more widely, Okayama residents have engaged in a concerted effort to claim the hero as native to their province. In this context, the millet dumpling's historical association with the Kibi province has undergone close scrutiny. In particular, Kibitsu Shrine of the region has had ongoing association with serving food by the name Kibi Dango. Conventionally, kibi dango or kibi mochi uses the sticky variety prosa millet known as mochi kibi, rather than the regular amylos rich millet used for creating sweets. History Use of the term kibi dango in the sense of millet dumpling occurs at least as early as the Yamashinaki Raiki. Shankei Jia Li Diary of the Yamashina Family. In an entry dated 1488, Chokyo 2, third month, 19th day, which mentions Kibi Dango. The Japanese Portuguese dictionary Nippo Jisho 1603-204 also listed Chibidango, which it defined as millet dumpling. In earlier times, their similar foods, though not designated Kibi Dango. Writer Akatsuki Kananari in his 1862 essay collection observed that such foods, made out of millet meals or other ground grains undergoing a process of steaming and pounding, and recognizable as dango to his contemporaries, were once called bei, being the same character as mochi in the olden days. <laughs> Kibitsu Shrine The Kibitsu Shrine of the former Kibi province has an early connection to the millet dumpling, due to the easy pun on the geographic name, Kibi. The pun is attested in one waka poem and one haiku dating to the early 17th century, brought to attention by poet and scholar Shida Giyu in a treatise written in 1941. The first example, a satirical kyoka composed at the shrine by the feudal lord Hosokawa Yusai, d. 1610, reads, Since kine, Miko priestess but also double entendre for mochi pounding mallet, is traditional to godhood, straightaway I would fain see the pounding of kibitsu, or millets, shrine into dumplings. The kibi dango which is implicit in this poem must have required pounding in a Japanese mortar in its preparation, conceivably the raw grain was pounded into meal, or the cooked millet was pounded like mochi. And it must have been something the shrine served to visitors on some occasions, one source venturing as far as to say that, it was already being sold at Kibitsu Shrine at the time, a haiku in similar vein, of somewhat later date and also at the same shrine according to Shida, was composed by an obscure poet named Nobumitsu Shinchong of Bichu Province. The haiku reads, Oh, mochi like snow, Japan's number one kibi dango. The flaunting of the stock phrase from the Momotaro story, constituted immovable proof of an early Momotaro connection in Shida's estimation, but it was based on the underlying conviction was that Japan's number one kibi dango was a phrase ever present since the earliest inception of the Momotaro legend. That premise was later compromised by Koike Togoro, who, after examining Edo period texts of Momotaro, concluded that Japan's number one, or even, millet dumpling, had not appeared in the tale until decades after this haiku. In later years, more elaborate legends were promoted connecting the shrine, or rather its resident deity Kibitsuhiko no Makoto to the Kibi Dango. The founder the Koedo authored a travel guide in 1895, in which he claimed that Kibitsuhiko rolled with his own hand some kibi dango to give to Emperor Jima who stopped at Takayama Palace in Okayama, but that anecdote was purely anachronistic. Later, an amateur historian wrote a 1930 book proposing that the legend of Kibitsuhiko's ogre slaying was the source of the Peach Boy or Momotaro folktale, leading to fervent local efforts to localize the hero Momotaro to Kibi Province, Okayama Prefecture. Topic: 
Topic: <laughs> Momotaro legend. In the widely familiar version of Momotaro, the hero spares his traveling rations of Kibi Dango to a dog, a pheasant, and a monkey and thereby gains their allegiance. However the scholar Koike compared the various Kusazoshi texts and discovered that early written texts of the Momotaro legend failed to call the rations, Kibi Dango. Versions from the Genroku era has to Dango, two tuan zi shi tuan zi, ten count dumplings, and other tales antedating, Kibi Dango, have Debutsu Mochi, Da Fobi, Great Buddha Cake, or Akuyo Mochi, Akuyo Bing instead. Moreover, the Japan's number one. Bragg was unattached to Momotaro's Kibi Dango until around the Genbun era, 1736, as far as Koike could fathom. Topic <laughs> Footnotes. Topic <laughs> <laughs> Explanatory notes. equals 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 citations